Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Here we are. We're at the end of the work week already. And I thank you for joining me for a Friday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And today, uh, I, I want to I wanna encourage you today. A, a lot this week, we've been talking about your relationship with God. Earlier this week, we talked about how uh, it's it's work. We have to really invest in it, and, and we really got to work to make it happen. And at the same time, God works in us at the same time. Now, it's along those lines that I, I want to turn our attention to the book of 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Peter makes a statement here that I think can be an incredible encouragement to each and every one of us here today. And uh, I want to share that with you. So take a look at the screen, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. And here's what it says. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. I want to say that again. God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? You know, I think, I think sometimes we uh, as Christians, and especially in the United States, okay, we, we make it so, um, <laughs> we make it so mysterious on how to uh, grow as, as a follower of Jesus Christ, that we have to uh, do something extra and we have to do, you know, we, we got to travel to the highest mountain and, and, and fast for 80 days and, and, and uh, quote Leviticus. And that's, and, and no, no. And, and look, if God leads you to do that, great, enjoy it. But this verse tells me, that God has given us everything that we need to live a godly life. Is that not incredible? Look, God will never call us to do something that he doesn't also equip us to do. Let me say that again, maybe a little slower, okay? God will not call you to live a godly life without giving you what you need to get that done. God never gives us a command that he himself will not equip us to fulfill. That's God. Now, here we read that God's given us everything we need to live a godly life. How do I access that? How did I come into possession of that? When did that take place? Was it after a sermon that I heard? Was it when I was uh, uh, sitting in church one day or, or, or praying one day while I was mowing the lawn? And, and Peter elaborates on this. He says, he's given you everything you need for living a godly life. And we have received all of this by coming to know him. So get this, the moment that you made the decision to serve Jesus Christ was the moment that he made all of his resources available for you to be successful as a Christian. Now, that doesn't mean we always get it right, okay? And, and, and that's where his compassion and his mercy, and we talked about that earlier this week, that's where his compassion, his mercy, and his help are just so incredible. But, but all of this... All of this is in place for us already. He gives you the strength you need. He gives you the wisdom that you need. He gives you the patience that you need. And you might say, well, well, pastor, I'm not, I'm not doing pretty good with that whole patience thing. Or I'm not really doing well with the whole wisdom thing. That's where you ask. You ask God for wisdom. You ask God to give you the strength that you need. You ask God, okay, God, you have made all this available to me. So this is what I need to be closer to you. This is what I need, Lord God. This is why I'm falling short. And so I need your help here. And God will gladly provide that for you because the scripture ends by saying he called you 
to himself, which tells me that God wants this more than we do. And so today, please know that everything you need to live a godly life is right there. God supplied that for you. He has that for you. You can tap into that and you can be a mature, successful, thriving child of God because of that. Okay. God bless you. Go into the weekend knowing that. Okay. And we will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>